This video will demonstrate how to use Harpeth Hall's library catalog to search for and request books. It's called Destiny Discover. My name is Susan Timmons and I'm the upper school instructional librarian. This video will cover how to link to the catalog, how to log in, how to search, how to place holds, open ebooks, and use collections. So first, you should start at bear clicks and find the link to the library catalog. Once you get there, it's best to go ahead and just log in. So there's a login button in the top right hand corner. And for a faculty member, this is going to be your either last name or first.last. And for a student, it's going to be your first.last.year. Keep in mind, it is just your username. It is not your email address. So it's not going to end with the at harpethhall.org. So go ahead and enter your regular username, again, not email address, and the same password that you use for everything for your Harpeth Hall Gmail account on campus. It will log you in, and this will give you uh, the ability to do things like place holds and open eBooks, which otherwise you won't be able to do unless you're actually logged in. The open screen has a bunch of genre pictures at the top. So this is a great place to go if you just want to browse, you're not quite sure what title you want. If you do know what you want, go ahead and type it right there in the search box. So let's say I know the series name is Divergent. I know the author is Veronica Roth. I can just type in those keywords and I'll get a lot of hits. I actually got 38 different hits. And that's because it has all the different formats. So notice I've got right here an icon showing me the audiobook, the ebook, the DVD, there's other books in the series, the compact disc. So one of the things that I can do is I can limit my search results using this filter bar over here on the left. And if I want, I can just limit my search results to physical books. And that way it's a little easier to find just the book Divergent. I can click on the title to get some more information about it. For example, I can click on the copies tab and I can see how many physical copies the library actually owns, how many are hardback or paperback and how many are checked out right now. And let's say I wanted to change that filter. I can just click the X right here and I can select ebook instead. So let's say I've decided I want to read the ebook. Under format, I'm going to select ebook and then it's just going to show me the ebook records. So because I'm logged in, I now have an open button. I can directly open the ebook and I'll be taken to our catalog. I may have to log in again, but it's the same username and password that you use to log into Destiny Discover and that will get you right into our ebook catalog. So let's go back to the main screen and look at some of these genre boxes. Um, let's say I knew I was interested in a mystery book, but I don't really have any title in mind. I'm going to go ahead and click on the mystery button. And there seem to be a lot of hits. Um, so first of all, let me try to just um, sort them. So for example, I can sort them by author name. And I can see right up here, I've actually got over 500 books. So that's probably not helpful enough. So there are some other ways that I can sort them. For example, on interest level, notice right here I've got a grades five and up, several middle school titles, a young adult title, an adult title. If I know, for example, that I'm mainly interested in a young adult or adult book, I can go ahead and set that age range over here in interest. And that's going to reduce from 500 hits down to 197. That's still a lot. So another thing I could do is go to the publication date again over here in filters and I can say just show me things published in the last five years. So again I've got a much smaller list right here and instead of sorting by author I can sort by the date published. And now I've really got a refined list of just things that I'm probably maybe haven't seen before I'm interested in they're at my age range and they're sorted by date. So that's really useful. Let's say I'm interested in this one, Huntress, but notice right here, instead of saying that it's in, it says that it's out. 
that tells me that the book is checked out to somebody. If I would really like it, I can click this hold button and it's going to go ahead and add it to my hold list and I'll receive an email notification as soon as it's available so I can come by the library and pick it up. But I could also look around and see if there are any other books that are on hand that I might be interested in instead. So on the right, it says you may also like. I've got some other ideas that I could just click on and explore. And then down here under the explore button, it gives me some descriptors, some subject headings. And let's say I'm just interested in World War Fiction. I can click on this subject heading and it'll give me a list of World War Fiction. And again, I can start over sorting this uh, by age and the year of publication to get a more refined list and just find ideas of things that I might not have even heard of, but I might be interested in after I find them in the catalog. So another thing to look at is there is underneath the genre buttons, uh, the list of our recently added titles, a list of ebooks, and then at the very bottom is something called collections. Collections is another way to group things that is not genre or subject or age level, but is more by topic. So for example, a display we might have um, celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month um, or a class that you might be taking where the books are um, have been grouped together for your research. So there are collections down here. You can click on them and explore them and see if there's anything in here that you're interested in. Okay. And you can make your own collections. So again, because I'm logged in, when I look at the record for the title, one of the options I have is to add to my collections. So if I click that, I can go into my collections and I can make a list, a new list such as um, things I want to read. So the important thing to know is you have to click on the private tab because all of your collections are going to be just for you. So when I click on the private tab, I see a button to create a collection and I can just say, remember to read this. And I can create one just for myself or if I want, I can create something public and I can share it with my friends. Once I've created that, I can start adding books to it and I've got a list of things that I can use for a class or just remember for later. If I need to get back to the main screen, I can just go over here and click Destiny Discover and it takes me right back to the home page and I can keep searching and finding books I'm interested in. I hope all those tips are helpful. If you have any questions, as always, just reach out with an email and I'm happy to help.